while working in the molecular biology laboratory we extract different kinds of biological molecules in order to analyze the expression of genes implicated in different disorder or the detection of rna viruses like coronavirus or any other downstream technology we first have to extract the rna there are different methods to extract the rna like the kit method trisol method or the manual method but the trisol method is the most commonly used method while performing the extraction of rna in molecular biology laboratory so in this practical we will demonstrate that how to extract the rna from blood using trisol method let's perform the experiment the major reagents and materials required for rna extraction are blood trisol reagent trisol reagent is a light sensitive chemical and it preserves the integrity of rna next is chloroform isopropanol ethanol and finally nuclease free water first of all 250 microliter blood sample will be taken in appendoff tube after the addition of blood sample 750 microliter of trisol reagent will be added once you will add the trisol reagent append of tube will be invert to mix the samples homogeneously next 200 microliter of chloroform will be taken and add in the append of tube function of chloroform is to separate the rna from other cell contents and proteins
after the addition of chloroform vortex the opened of tube for 1 minute In next step we will centrifuge the sample at 13000 rpm for 15 minutes at 4 degree celsius After the completion of centrifugation you will take out the append of tube As a result of centrifugation you will observe three layers Upper is the aqueous phase that contain the RNA second is the interface and third are the impurities now we will transfer the aqueous phase to a new append of tube it should be noted that the tip of the pipette should not touch the interface you will just pick the aqueous phase that contain the desired rna molecule after the transfer of aqueous phase to due append of tube we will add the equal volume of isopropanol in the append of tube to precipitate the rna Similarly after the addition of isopropanol we will again centrifuge the sample at 13000 rpm for 15 minutes
After centrifugation, you will observe the pellet in the bottom of the tube and you will discard the supernatant, preventing the pellet. Now we will wash the RNA pellet with ethanol to remove the impurities. So 5 to 600 microliter of 70% chilled ethanol will be added into the append of tube. After the addition of ethanol, we will again centrifuge the samples at 13,000 RPM for 15 minutes. After the centrifugation, discard the supernatant. Finally, we will add nuclease free water into the append of tube after air drying the ethanol. The nuclease free water will protect the RNA. Finally, after the addition of nuclease free water, we will store the RNA at minus 80 degrees Celsius.